Hi, Chris Schenk with Case IH here to talk to you today about the steering calibration on a 2160 track frame. So when we're going to do steering calibration, we go to back, we go to calibration, we go to sensors. Calibration type is going to be implement steering and we follow the instructions on here. So the frame control is going to be turned off and so on. So we're going to go to next. Okay, so this is going to tell us we need to go to a full left hand turn, which means that the uh, front of the track frame is actually going to go to the right. So once we get the track undercarriage all the way over, and we click on next, press next to save that, and now we're going to do a right hand turn, which is the other direction. So full right means that the front of the track frame will go all the way to the left. Once it gets to the end of the stroke there, we press next as well. And then we're going to go through and center that track frame up. When we get it where it looks like it's in center while we're moving, we stop, we get out, we go back to the track frame and actually measure it pin to pin to finish setting our center position on our tracks. Let's go out to the track frame and check our measurements. So once we have the track centered, according to the screen up in the cab and for calibration, we're going to come out and verify that cylinder length on both the right hand side and the left hand side to make sure they are equal. Okay, that'll mean that the tracks are centered that should eliminate the wear that we see on any track undercarriage from uh, mistracking. So we want to make sure that the tracks are running true down the road or straight. We found that our measurements are accurate. We come in here, we say next to save it. So our calibration is successful. Thank you for your time. If you need more information on a steering calibration on a 2160, please consult your Case IH dealer or reference your operator's manual.